Today is a historic occasion in my life. This will be the first experience I have ever seen with my own eyes of a celebrity placing their handprints in concrete here in Hollywood. I'm pretty, pretty excited about this. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. And what makes it even more doubly fantastic, it's actually someone I really admire. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. Not to take away anything from Mr. Muscles. You know, you, you know, you know. Thank you. The courtyard is currently closed. And as you can see, the reason is clear. There are some festivities that will be taking place very shortly in front of the world famous Chinese theater. It might be very tough to see it, but he's drawing a character. I have to be honest with you, this is gonna be pretty freaking cool. Something I've only seen on TV or on the news. We are celebrating today the life of the gentleman portrayed right up there on that billboard. I think we know what he's looking at. I know why you're here. I totally know why you're here. It is a full-on party out here and completely newsworthy if I say so myself. He's telling us to back up. He's telling us we're not allowed in this spot. I saw everybody else walking in here. I just kind of pulled a Pee Wee from Pee Wee's Big Adventure moment and just walked in past the gate there. I don't really know where I'm heading, but I figured this was the best spot to get the, the best angle of the, the festivities. John Lane's got his fist printed. The very, very individual footprints here as well. I'll show off, he'll, he'll, the cement will be wet, of course, and he'll put his footprints and handprints in the wet cement It's in a little tray, and they'll allow it to sun dry or dry very slowly so that it doesn't crack before they actually put it into the wet cement. Who's so, doing it today? And this is Stan Lee, the producer of Marvel Comics. Security is very tight down there. They are only allowing those who have prepaid or special credential wristbands to enter and they are ejecting anyone else from this courtyard currently. But right down there, smack dab in the middle of that red carpet, you can barely see the concrete that he will be placing his either feet or his hands into. Right down there. Just in the center of the screen to the left of that sweet hat. Whoa, must be Bert. No, it's not. You know what, maybe? He might be inside that limo. Not Bert, but, but Stan. A little behind the scenes now of the prep work of what goes into where he's going to, where he's gonna kneel down. Oh, look at this. That's what you don't see underneath the handprints. Just regular dirt, and then I guess the concrete goes right on top of it. I hate to be the one to tell you this, Spider-Man. You need a wristband to get in there. You need a wristband. And I am not the only one with the clever idea to stand up here on this ledge. This guy right here looks very, well, he looks familiar too. This guy looks very, very familiar. Now it's got me wondering, maybe that's not mud, maybe that's all. Maybe that whole box is full of concrete. Oh no, look, behind the scenes. That board, would, I don't know what that board was, but I think it might have been something that's going to be, I, I, you know what, maybe it was just trash. No, I was correct. It is something that's being used. They're covering it up. By the way, see this guy right here? A minute ago, he was doing calisthenics. He was doing like leg pulls and like getting the hamstrings warmed up. Maybe he's going to do some sort of superhero dance or something later. Did you find that wristband yet? They won't, I told you, they won't let you in without a wristband. Just keep doing a lap, keep doing the laps. They won't let you in without a wristband. If you see, if you get another one, if you find a duplicate, bring it up here to me. I don't think that was the same character from earlier. He was looking at me like I was a crazy person or something. And you'll notice, even though this is taking place in the permeating Southern California sun, they still have lights shining down upon the placement of where it's happening. Can you keep a secret? Shh, don't tell anyone. Everyone's looking over into the courtyard, but in reality, Stan Lee's right down there 
incognito. He's just blending in with the rest of the onlookers. Hidden in plain sight. Genius. Absolutely genius. Oh yeah, the moments we've been waiting for. The introduction has been made. Pretty freaking cool. shot from the from the ground there's Kevin Smith there you can see Stan right there I'm just glad to be here in person to witness it man how cool is that I saw him put his hands in the concrete I saw him put his feet in the concrete from a distance granted but I saw it happen live and in person it's never happened to me before so pretty exciting they do not make it very easy or accessible for those who want to get a peek Unless you have certain VIP credentials. Nonetheless, though, I, I got some I got some good angles. And let's be honest, it's more about the experience than it is anything else. There's plenty of other videos of, you know, everyone up there with the awesome cameras and the zooms that had a little bit closer. And granted, in the sun, I think I'd rather be out of the sun and have a, a less better view than be standing in this permeating ray. So it's a win-win for me. Oh my goodness. Nichelle, how are you? Nice to see you again. I don't want to disturb her, but Star Trek, OG Star Trek, you know who that is. This is a real honor running into the one and only Kevin Smith, and I must say you're a huge inspiration. I've seen a few of your films. I'm not like one of the hardcore Kevin Smithians. Sound like my wife and or my mother. But I've seen a few. I'm not a hardcore <laughs> Kevin Smith fan. Your story motivated me to an extent back in August 2011 I quit my job so many qualifiers I started to travel every all the naysayers there's a lot of naysayers in the world always the world's crap pot the moment you try to ascend and do something else there's a thousand legs to drag you down and tell you fucking why you're doing that but that, that's because misery loves company always ascend always ascend but I have learned that there are more positive people than there are negative the negative people are the most boisterous and have the heaviest typing fingers ever yes you maxed out your credit cards to make clerks. It became a monumental success. You have gone on to become the Kevin Smith. And still, I sweat. It's impossible to stop. <laughs> You've lost a lot of weight, things. though. You have lost Thank you. a it's heck of a lot of weight. Outside of Hollywood I don't want to disturb you, but I just wanted. I shook your hand already. Now I have my hand on your shoulder, which hopefully it's appropriate. A lot of touching. It begins there next summer. And again. my former roommate, Tyler Evans, rock journalist, wanted me to tell you he loves Tusk. Come on, man. That's the guy? The one? What's his name? Tyler Evans, rock journalist. Tyler, I made that movie for you. Really, I made it for me, but anybody that I can like... So it's one of those movies, like, either you're like, this is fucking stupid, or you're a person that's like, I think this was made for me. He's Tyler's that, that guy. guy. Thank you. You made me watch it about 18 times. <laughs> it doesn't work it, on everybody. The took, magic won't always work. It took a baker's dozen for me to finally get it. Do you know what it's like? I figured out it's like Michigan J. Frog in the Warner Brothers cartoons. Like, people Hello, talk about this tent. Yes. <laughs> and then they're like, you gotta see it. And they put it on, it just sits there like, Mur. So if you watch enough, you may catch it dancing. Awesome. Thank you, man. Huge honor. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Go vlog. Kevin Smith. The Kevin Smith. Is it the or the? Is it the? That, that Kevin Smith. Whatever you do, don't look down. I never knew this staircase was accessible. Hollywood Boulevard down there. And I am directly in line with the top of the Chinese theater. And if you look closely, that's Wolverine, right? I don't. I don't know if that's the real, that's a Wolverine right there. Kevin Smith, he likes to be, use the profane word or two. I always keep things PG, but I can't speak for everyone else that subliminally makes a guest entrance into my, one does not simply edit. 
Kevin Smith. I'm gonna let it slide this time. And pretty freaking cool though, right? Feed the birds, top ends a bag, or is it loaves, half loaves, and is it some kind of bread substance you're chowing down. Hitchcock would be proud. I gotta give a quick little shout out to this place. They are giving away free sodas on Hollywood Boulevard. I take that back as some sort of juice, blood orange. You wanna do this with, are you, you, you going for it? And with that, the day comes to an end. I wonder if he would be a superhero or would he be a super villain? Is that a villainous smile or a very, I'm gonna rescue a cat from a tree type smile? Vlog over.